Hello and welcome to this tutorial here. Um, today I'm going to be explaining some of the functionality of the Visualizer 3D software. And the main reason for this is when you come for technical support we're going to ask you to maneuver and navigate through your screen and to perform different functions. Um, and so what this is going to do, this is going to help everybody here, especially us here in the technical support side who are trying to assist you and um, help you with your scans. So uh, let me begin here for some of the basics that we're going to um, ask you to do. One, we're going to ask you for your different viewpoints. Um, so over here, as you see, we have right here, this here is the perspective view, which is going to turn the object here at an oblique angle to look at it more or less, less like a 45. The buttons right over here that I'm clicking minimize difference in height, maximize difference in height. What that does is, for example, when you look into this corner right here, you see how you can't really see anything, but if I minimize the height, it changes the view down to the point it brings into reality. Um, or you can actually see the whole picture, like in the side view. So by using it this way, you'll be able to see in here, and you can click into any one of these three the boxes never uh, excuse me and you can see the different angles of which it can be presented at now this is the perspective view this is the side view and this is the top view all right this can also be controlled by going control uh, and here you'll see here it's a control f1 perspective control f2 and control f3 your crosshairs are f2 and your wireframe is in the F3. Well, of course, your resolutions are by the number keys 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So, um, the main thing here is what we're going to do is so that you know how to basically get a view like we're going to um, try to explain. Because just by clicking your mouse, you can drag this all over the place. You can spin it. You can turn it sideways. Look at it from the top, bottom. And this is just by clicking the mouse, you can get these different angles. Or you can reset it. This is your reset. Put everything back to normal the way it was originally. Or go back to top view, which doesn't change any of your uh, settings. It just changes your view. If you make a change, there is an undo button. And then we have our interpolation button. And what this does here is it says I'm going to go through and start to clean up some of the miscellaneous in your scans automatically and um, we don't highly recommend I don't myself highly recommend you use it though it may be a useful tool depending where you are and depending on your soil everything with the visualizer 3d and this equipment depends on the soil as like any other uh, geophysical equipment the soil is what's going to determine the functionality. Okay, let um, me cancel that. And then if you have a signal error, let's say I have an error right here at this point, and I say, for example, I had an error there, I could come into here and I can correct the value under the crosshair only, or I could say, let's be automatic and correct everything. Again, I don't recommend you using any of these um, un until you have more experience and you understand how to manipulate around the software. What we do recommend and very highly recommend is when you make a scan that you push your F9 key or you're going to go into graphics and then characteristics. This is your most important function. And the software is even going to ask you, we have, don't have any data on this, can we have some data on this? In here, please you don't have to put a project name in here. That's not important. Remarks, that's not important either. These remarks can be anything. They can be, for example, okay, I'm at the turn in the road by the funny looking telephone pole. I'm three meters north, two meters west. That way you know where you are. That's what goes in the remarks area. Or this scan was performed going from the south to the north or the west to the east. Now, what is important for us is the length of field. How far did you walk? And how wide did you scan? So if your scan length was 10 meters long and 
six and a half meters wide. That to us is important. That's what we want to know. Because now, as I move the crosshairs with my arrow keys on the keyboard, I can say, look, I'm looking at a possible target here at scan line of 4.33 meters from the beginning point to here. So it'll be 4.33 meters to the left of the start point, and the impulse is at 8.28 meters forward of the start point. This is important. This helps us. We can now understand this a little easier. So, give that a shot. Understand some of the other functionality. Play with all the buttons. Go and do some scans. You can realize here, you change your values. Um, over here, when you're on your side, you have your differences in height buttons. So you can make it almost completely flat, or you can make it very uh, strong, the signal. You can move your height line down. Okay, what you see, it's moving down here, and it's moving over here. You can move it up. And then you have your, where is this on your screen? You can move the whole scan down, whole scan up, to the left, to the right. You can rotate it on one axis. You can rotate it on another axis. And then, of course, you can rotate it on its final axis. Um, all of this can be done. Uh, wireframe is this button right here. You want more resolution, come over here. And you can see how the 1 through 5 now changes everything. Uh, 1 is going to be the fastest, 5 is going to be the slowest. You want to clean up some dummy signals, you can clean it up there. And then you also have here, show your frequency energy chart, which that will come up here in another window. Um, so there's all kinds of different methods that you can use in order to clean up your scans. Most of the time we recommend leaving them just the way they are, because this way we can put you to where you need to be. We can see the target. We can see where you are. Another function is, and that's not in any of the keys here, and this is when we'd be like at a side view and we wanted to get a different perspective, is the F4 key. Once you hit that F4 key, it's going to change all the values that you have, and it's going to bring all your values from the top to the bottom. And let me rotate this around, and perhaps you can see a little easier. Let me move this here and then rotate this this way. I'll play with my buttons here a little bit to get a better picture on your target. Now this particular target is, is really clear, but on other targets it may not be as clear as this one where you can see here's the target. But it also cleans up a lot of the other scan, whereas here you're getting different images. So again, there's no best way in, in analyzing the target. Just make sure that you go through, push the buttons, click them. If you have questions, please ask us. You can reach me at my email, which is fcasser at okm-gmbh.de or write our website at www.okm-usa.com. Thank you.